Hello everybody, welcome to a new Project Zyboid series. This will be a tutorial let's play on how to survive and thrive on 16x population, which is regarded as one of the hardest difficulties in Project Zomboid. We will go over tactics and other sweat lord ways of making the best out of a terrible situation. If you enjoy what you see on the series, please consider liking and subscribing so that I know that you want more content like this. All mods and connected content creators will be shown in the description down below. Here are the mods connected to this series. No big impact on these mods, they're just mostly you know, red crowbar retexture, you know, more paint or whatnot so that we can make a nice pretty base eventually. Teacup fix doesn't really do much. I mean, the only real one that affects this game is Smoker Size Serious, but it really doesn't. And Authentic Z. Authentic Z could be a little bit powerful, but we won't see that many changes. All of these are fantastic mods. The only one that you guys can't get is the Vinax. Because that's a personal one. Anyway, here we go. We are starting off in Riverside. Riverside's very low populated. I mean, it still has a very large population, especially in 16x, Bob. But it's low population compared to the rest of these. And it's got a nice little place that we're going to go up to. And a base that I'm thinking about starting out at. Maybe not starting, but, you know, getting into. Our population is set to insane. No time difference. The only world difference that we have is darkness during night. This is also compared to the um, APOC settings. Uh, nothing to nature, no sadistic AI, just the helicopter once. Gener generator spawn is set to rare. That won't make too much of a difference. Time before corpse removal is 120. The default is 216. Blood level set to low because I almost want to put this in the none. But I like, I like to see blood, man. Uh, that's set to low because there's going to be a lot of blood. So much blood. Loot rarity is set to just rare. That's fine. Extremely rare isn't too much of a difference. Those who were like, oh, but Vinx, why don't you set this to extremely rare? There's going to be still thousands of loot. It's We're going to have so much loot. Uh, character, no difference. In game, we've got that because one... To start out with the entire map doesn't affect me whatsoever. It doesn't affect my gameplay. Honestly, it, it helps you guys tremendously. I can look up the map online. Why look up the map online when I can have it at my fingertips right here? It doesn't, doesn't change anything. As far as vehicles go, car on impact, very low. That's lovely. I don't run into many things whatsoever, but when I do... It's because I think the area is clear and then you see a little tiny tree that's kind of invisible that you hit. You're like, man, okay, whatever. It just, I don't know. It, that's very unfun to see. While I was very low impact, you know, it's fine. I like to have vehicles. I like them to be nice. We are having proper zombies. No changes to zombies. And here are the advanced zombie option to the populations. We got four times four times four. Peak day one no respawns nothing it's gonna be hundreds of thousands of zombies probably a million or more on the map it's gonna be crazy all right now we're gonna do my hacks man hacks man hacks man we start out as a lumberjack and lumberjack gives you two axe skills one strength and the lovely, the lovely Axeman perk, which is going to be the showcase for this entire build. Not all, It used to be that you only swing at trees faster. Now it's also in combat. Axes are now pretty comparable to spears as far as the quickness that they can dispatch zombies. We start out with thin skin. High thirst, slow healer, prone to illness, weak stomach. Those are, and also slow reader, are typically your go-to negative traits to have. I I like having claustrophobic because it doesn't do much for me. Conspicuous, I'm going to be pulling zombies. This only makes it so that they, they have the chance of spotting you by one tile or so. I don't know the exact me mechanics for that. You can go over to Retinaru's 
videos and watch, you know, binge watch all of his videos. They're all super easy to watch and go over the conspicuous trait and any of the traits that are on here. Smoker, it's easy. I don't really care. It's it's a super easy trait. You get tons of cigarettes. It doesn't matter. And clumsy, if you know how to work with clumsy, it's not too bad. As long as you don't run past fence, you're fine. You'll never see this. Make more noise when moving, it doesn't even matter. As far as positive traits, obviously the wonderful axe man. We got cat eyes, dexterous, outdoorsman, gymnast, fast learner, keen hearing, athletic, and strong. If you guys have any questions on how this build is or have any improvements you, you think you would like to make to this, please let me know down in the comments because I would like to know I tested this build with many things or in many ways. I almost wanted to take short-sighted, but I also like to do a lot of foraging. Foraging is very powerful now in 4168. And we're not going to be Dalton Fox. We're going to be Marion Ellsworth, but we're also going to change his name to Haxman because of the Haxman perk. Hi there, Marion. Well, hello there. I like to walk. I like to run. But I mostly just like to stand here and look awkward. That's right, Marion. All right, guys. I'll see you when we actually get a nice little spawn. All right. Here's where we spawned. A very nice little bar in the almost outskirts of Riverside. Yeah, this is a really nice spawn. We're going to go check for loot, and the best thing to do is loot the entirety of your starting house. Maybe not every nook and cranny in it, but once you leave here, you're not going to be back here for a very long time. You can't see it right now, but there's thousands of zombies outside, and they're going to get in here whether you like it or not. And you're not going to be back here for a very long time, so because you're going to be, a, basically, you're going to have to evacuate the entire town and go somewhere else. And we're going to show that. I'm also going to take my time to really look through everything that I can possibly get my hands on. Yeah, the pop is nice. Eh, these plastic cups don't really do much for me. I'm also sneaking so I don't make too much noise. Doing the most that I can for right now. Taking all the food that I can because we might not have food for a little while. As you can see, we are growing in panic. Panic is absolutely going through the roof right now. That's because we have claustrophobic. Hopefully we can get a baseball bat. Yeah, look, 40 cigarettes. It's it's almost like we even need that one mod this, that lets you start out with cigarettes. It's all beer. Why, Vinks? You're, you're in a bar. Of course it's all beer, you silly poo-poo head. Yeah, I know. I'm, that might even uh, keep starting this till we get at least something. A yeah, box of nails is fine. Yeah, even the mousetrap. Yeah, let's take that. Yeah, a broom can be used as a weapon. See, with this, with this start out, we're gonna need to use all yeah, word search, every bit of loot that we have. Let's pour this on the ground. Bleach containers can be used as water containers. Here we go. Yeah, we don't have much. Also, this is such a nice mod. The, the weapon condition mod is great. And uh, yeah, it's our time to skedat. Oh wow, not a lot of zombies. Can I sneak and get this car? I mean, that's not going to do much for us. We won't be able to get through the zombies. But there's not a lot of zombies right now. We got... Oh, man. Some car mods and everything. Um... Yeah, it's crazy. So, anyway, let's, uh... 
I just start the trek, man. You only really need to walk. You can get through this, these amount of hordes very easily just by walking around. We're going to make it towards the the river. And we're going to go up this, the river side. <laughs> just making small adjustments through the hordes. They'll get off our tail eventually. Especially you can see how fast we walk compared to their shambles. Just find little, you know, pockets away from them and, you know, just get through them. It'll be fine. And the worst thing that you could do is uh, fall right now. Falling would be a bad thing. Alright, we gotta do that real quick. Go through there. Seeing this fence here, where you can actually use this fence to your advantage. Although, you don't want to use fences to your advantage when it comes to fighting. And we can use these trees right now to kind of block the side of the zombies. And hopefully not get a, a deep wound while we run through the trees. Because that'd be bad. And now, we're, now we walk. Now we walk, baby. Using these trees to our advantage. Kind of zigzagging and cutting the line of sight off the zombies. Using walk to will also allow you to walk through the trees without getting hurt. But it's still dangerous because you, you can still be around a lot of zombies that want to fight you. And you just keep doing this. As soon as you see all the zombies, they're going to immediately vacate you from the city or the town that you're in. That's fine. You want to be away from zombies. It's not like you start out with thousands of weapons. That it allows you to essentially kill every single one in your immediate vicinity. The only real time that you can do that is if you start out with a lot of like axe skills and you start out in the the Rosewood Fire Department or anything like that. That would allow you to actually kill as many zombies around the area as possible. But, it's still very risky because there's hundreds of zombies near you. And by now, there's probably literally no zombies anywhere near me right now. And we're just going to keep going until we find a nice little house that we can call our own. And, you know, maybe bash their brains in with this broom. Hopefully we can find a better weapon. That'd be nice. Had a little bit of blood on the side there. In fact, we can forage right now. We can forage and actually make it a lot easier. Excuse me. Really? I was about to say. We can forge for some branches to make the focus firewood. And I, I'll, I'll even, I might be able to cut through this, but forging is very powerful now. Is that a cockroach? Or is it mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't pick up mushrooms until I know that they're safe to eat. Are you going to turn into anything? Nope. Feels bad. I might be able to sneak some stuff over here. Vegetation. Also, a good thing that you can do when it comes to foraging is aiming. Aiming will increase your foraging skill by 33%. I don't know what it, if it does anything to your search rate. Oh, by 43. It increases your search radius by 43. Nice. Or point 43. Why, hello there. Yeah, you got some nice tasty twigs for me. Why, thank you. Eh, we're gonna go check down here. What is this? Forest area? Nice. 
Oh yeah, this is the house that I like to stay at. Hopefully we can find some stuff before, because there's going to be tons of hordes around here. There's always tons and tons and tons of hordes. There we go, baby. Now what we can do, let's come down here. Rip up our socks. We don't need those right now. And we can make a stone axe. And we can put that in both of our hands and go to town on some zombies. Some unfortunate zombies. Put that on the ground. Just poop it right there. That would be fine. Let us eat. I guess we'll drink some pop. We don't want to be drunk. Drinking makes you sleepy. Let's also smoke a cigarette. We've got 47 of them. That's wonderful. Let's see what our starting population looks like at this house. I'm going to just be extra quiet. Man, if this has an alarm, I'll probably restart. <laughs> if this is an alarm, I'll be upset. <laughs> I hear a, hear a zombie in there. All right. You might, you might think, why Vinks? Why didn't you hit that zombie while it came out? Using fences and windows as a way of killing zombies is such a bad idea. No matter what anybody says. Sure, you might be able to kill thousands of zombies that way, but it only takes one. Oh, it only takes one to lunge into you and ruin your day forever. Come on. There we go, baby. Yes. Yes, come here. Oh, you silly, silly bastard. Yeah, come here. But yes, anybody that says using fence is a good way of clearing zombies is wrong. It Sure, it might seem that way until one lunges into you and you get completely wrecked by it. And we're going to steal their socks. In fact, we're going to wear everything. Marion's a little bit cold out here. He's not cold, but I'm pretending he is. All right, so now we got to pick off this group little at a time. I mean, technically, we can take it all. Why, hello there, everybody. I'm your friendly neighborhood mountain man, Marion. I'm going to show you how to kill some zombies in the most effective way. It's what we like to call... Uh, in the sweat lower terms, the cargo line. You see all of these lovely, scary zombies? Yeah, you can kill them all fairly easily. Come here, Zam Zams, let's go. I want you all so I can show these nice, happy people. Now, you see how they're nice and grouped up? With the Congo line, we want to make sure that they're in a nice single file line before we actually start to kill them. Like so. That way, you can just run off or walk off, it doesn't really matter, and then just keep killing them one at a time. But you want to make sure that it is one at a time. And a good way to make sure that it is one at a time, you see this vehicle here. You can use this vehicle to your advantage. Wait till they get a little bit closer, and then easy Congo line. They will single file their way to your axes or short blunts, depending. Boop. And just like that, you can just walk off and keep doing that as many times as you possibly want. Just make sure that you have some distance between the zombies. Note that you walk faster than the zombies no matter what. Just like that, you can fight any horde using the Congo line method. Anyways, bye for now. Technically, we can. Um, 
I'm gonna drop all this beer. There we go. So we're not so heavy. Come here, lady. Come here, my lady. Yeah! I'm gonna keep these scissors because that's a weapon. So with this, with 16x pop, you're gonna have to use every weapon you can possibly get your hands on. Can we get a little bit more? That'd be lovely. Every single weapon you can get your hands on is gonna be a good weapon. There we go. That's a good group. Now, I can easily fight that entire group, but we're gonna slowly pick them off for, you know... Yeah, you know, whatever. Something. Why? I don't know. Kind of be a little bit more, you know, inconspicuous. Make it easier on ourselves. Use some scissors. Oh man, those scissors are breaking really fast. You know, a really good weapon is actually the the screwdriver. The screwdriver is a very good weapon. And zombies have a lot of them. There we go. We'll check these corpses later. Right now I want to clear the actual area around. So that we can loot the inside. I'm going to use this broom. I'm going to see how, how long it takes for this broom to break. Probably no time at all. And see, even on 16 X pop, we have very manageable populations of zombies. Hi there, Bilbo. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that didn't take any time at all. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna take a stick. I don't really care about a stick. Let's go ahead and wear this on our left. Doesn't matter which, you know, which hand you put your, your watch on. I just prefer the left because I think it looks better. I'm going to push these zombies down so we can guarantee a, an instant kill. So we can kind of conserve our axe for right now. Oh, what's your bumpy? Oh, Bilbo. Give me a second, guys. Bilby. Watch out, bumpers. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end this episode once we have this nice and safe. By nice and safe, I mean the zombies around it fairly clear. Wow. Yeah, we don't have much as far as weapons go. We might need to check the shed. This shed usually has quite a lot of weapons in it. Now that was me missing. A good way to know that you're always on target with a with a zombie is you see where my cursor is, the little um circle with a line. If that is over the zombies hitbox, which you can tell by the shadow under their feet, you will always hit the zombie. No matter what. You will always hit the zombie if it's right there in the shadow. It means you are actually pointed at the zombie. Other than like having your cursor out here, which you don't even know which actual angle you're at. It's always best to keep it close. So you can even greatly Ooh. Oh, there's no weapons. You can even greatly find out where you're attacking from. Um, we should be able to handle this little amount of zombies here. I'm just going to pull them a little bit of a time just in case my axe wants to break on me randomly. Come on, go over to the sandbox. Come on, kids. Let's go. Come on. Come on, I mentioned. Let's go, baby. I see you, baby. 
This should be too bad. Okay, I thought it was going to be at least five. Yeah, it's just these. Let's wait for him because we want we want to kill him over here because killing zombies makes a lot of sounds. Get out of here. And he's got a nice little screwdriver on him too. That's a good weapon. Screwdrivers? Fantastic. He's got all green on him. I want those shorts, man. I want those. Terrible condition. Man. Why these zombies gotta be jerks? I just wanna be fashion. I wanna be fashionable, damn it. Alright. Let's get the rest of these guys. Because I don't think our, our axe is gonna take too much damage. So attacking the air doesn't cause any sound whatsoever. And you might think it does, but it doesn't. In fact, probably one of the more loud objects in the games are lights. But only lights inside. It's really weird. The mechanics for that? Super weird. Like, why do lights cause so much noise? I get that it's supposed to be like, oh, it draws the zombies. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a weird thing to think about. Ooh, some more scissors. That's more weapons, baby. You jerk. I thought those were shorts. I got excited. I'm like, ooh, purple shorts. Um, let's put that where our hand axe is. Our hand axe is going to break eventually. Especially with such low maintenance skill. That's the only problem with this build is the amount of XP that you get from or for maintenance. We're going to be around level 3 maintenance for a very, very long time. Yoo-hoo! Let's go! Come on, nerds! Come this way! Also, if you guys want to know how you do that, I will also let you know down in the comments. Or I'll link the a Reddit post or a Steam uh, tutorial on how to find the, the dialogue settings in your files. Come on there, buddy. I'm not going to completely clear out this area. Just enough that I, I don't see zombies roaming around. Level 3 axes already. There we go. Boom, boom. Ooh, some lipstick. Mmm, that's tasty. Why, that's tasty. I like lipstick. Oh, shades of color. It's real nice. Alright, let's go check the house. Let's see what we got in the house. I'm just checking out th these roads and seeing if there's any... I mean, there's a few roaming hordes. But I'm not really concerned about this house getting hit up too much. Oh, great. I guess I can always go through the, win the bathroom window. Pick up all these beer cans. That's food, baby. That's delicious food. Wee wee wee! I'd be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Oh, I'd be I'd be greatly upset. I'd be like, damn! <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there. Am I? Yeah. We got this door so we can unlock it. We're gonna go put some brooms on some zombies. The stone axe. I'm not gonna repair our stone axe or some scissors. That'd be crazy. In fact, we can repair our our hand decks. This might be the room that we stay in. 
Because I've noticed that not a lot of zombies come this to that side. They usually like to come in through that side. Let's see if we have the emergency broadcast. We do not. That's fine. Uh, we got a cooking book, but, you know, that's not really too good. I don't, so, I don't watch the TV shows. And I'll explain that. I don't like to do the TV shows whatsoever. Because they only give you 75 experience per show. And they give you more if you read the books. So, if I watch the show... Before I read the books, I'm losing out on that much experience. Especially when I can just go to the video stores and get a bunch of videos. But it might just be too late when I get those videos. I don't know, it's just one of those things that I've been doing forever. Tell me what you guys do down in the comments. Let's just put all the beer in there. But Vinx, why are you putting the beer in the refrigerator? It doesn't need to be refrigerated. I don't know. I just like to do that. It's what I do. Oh yeah, the dried beans. That's authentic Z, I'm pretty sure. That does add quite a lot. I mean, that's a lot of calories. Dang, that's crazy. We got that with rice. That could be dinner tonight. Let's let that go while we check the rest of this place. Again, this area gets a lot of... Or this... Let's put these purple pants on. Why not? This little house gets a lot of... Um, yeah! Zombies on that side. So I'm just going to keep that the way it is. But this will be our home for a little while. Our nice little humble abode. Sure, whatever. Nice. And that at least makes us, you know, not so unhappy. Rice and pickles. Mmm. Yum. Anyway, folks, thank you guys for watching. If you like this series, let me know down in the comments, you know, if that you want to see more. Or you can like this video. Please consider liking this video and subscribing. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. I'm probably going to put out three of these and see how they do. Anyways, take it easy, everybody. Love you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.